so we will be doing one more thing is we are going to change the colors for the boxes so we have applied label by percentage here in this code what we are going to do is we will be entering the item color so we are going to say it's like color 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 green green should be given to item and we'll close the code and we'll copy this code we'll copy this code to all of the uh, item types so we'll change this green to blue for item type 2 we will change it to black for item type 3 and we'll change it to red for item type 4 so I am making it red so now what should happen is for different types we are supposed to have the colors coming out so based on the percentages the item label will be applied and for that item label we have applied colors so if you see this is green item type 1 we are having it green item type 2 blue item type 3 is yes, black and we'll have item type 4 as red so we are having these things happening we have also applied a code on the decision point that for item type 1 it should select first conveyor for second second conveyor for third type third conveyor and for fourth type it should go to the fourth conveyor so based on that it is getting transferred to the respective conveyor so we are having the code on source on creation where we are applying the label type based on percentage and then we are assigning the colors on the decision point we are going to have on arrival code which will send the items to respective conveyors based on their item type label so this is done so we are having these things going on now we will understand the conveyor properties with fixed interval movement this is the fixed interval movement this is the dog interval so what does this mean is basically we are going to have uh, intervals of one meter so we will have one part in one meter of distance so the six meters conveyor will be divided into one meter steps so we will be having six parts on the conveyor with a difference of one meter so if I reset and run and show you you can see the black color lines which will be shown on the conveyor that are dogs so basically the dogs will be transferring the material so you can see this black color lines running onto the conveyor so these are nothing but the dogs and the interval between the dogs is one meter we have set it you can change that interval to your requirement so we will convert all these conveyors to the fixed interval movement power and free with a dog interval of one meters so i'm changing this to one meter for all of the conveyors so we will have one meter dog interval now this is about uh, power free dog intervals on the conveyor properties then we also have additional thing that is slug builder so slug builder is nothing but the accumulation we are going to do for the particular boxes onto the conveyor and then those boxes will be released once your slug is ready to get released so we are having the ready criteria here in the slug builder when you check this in you will have the pop properties popping up for this conveyor here so we are having based on the percentage we will have based on the item count we will have based on the time elapsed so this is what we are going to do for the slug builder so this is the slug builder properties onto the conveyor so I have put this as 80% what we will do for the first conveyor 80% for the second conveyor we will put it as 20% for third conveyor we will make it as 40% and for fifth, fourth conveyor we will make it as 60% so whenever the conveyor is filled to its 80 percentage the slug is really ready to get released and the slug will be released accordingly so if you see this I am running the model again you can see these dogs onto the conveyor so this is at the interval so we are having so whenever the conveyor capacity uh, 20 percentage is reached the slug will be ready to get released and then it will be released out from this thing now what you are able to see here is the 
materials are getting mixed onto the main conveyors so you saw this if both conveyors lugs are getting ready they will be released simultaneously so what if i want that if this lug is ready for the blue color boxes only blue color boxes should be released once blue color box are getting released then the next slug ready boxes should be released and so on so for that thing we need to have merge controllers so i will drag the merge controller into the model i will reset the model so what we have done now is we have builded these slugs onto the conveyors we have also putted the dog interval onto the conveyors now what we need to do is whichever slug is ready only those conveyors should be opened for releasing it onto the main conveyor and then another slug ready parts will be released and then another slug ready parts will be released so for that we use merge controllers so let's understand the properties for the merge controller merge controller we are going to have labels we are going to have the individual property window for merge controller that is the release strategies then we are having the ports just like input output center ports and the triggers on slug ready on slug cleared on slug start on slug item added you can put the uh, respective triggers and you can assign respective codes on that respective triggers as per your requirement so we are able to put these types of triggers onto the merge controllers and then we are going to have the release strategy if you see here round robin round robin if applicable and do nothing so based on the slug readiness it is going to run this release strategy we are also having one more thing that is edit lane clear table this table is basically you can connect the conveyors and you can make it auto fill so basically this is used uh, where the decision points are located based on that it is going to get lane clear table ready so these are the properties for the merge controllers which we are going to have it let's begin connecting it to the model you need to remember one point here this merge controllers are supposed to be used only for slug ready conveyors so whichever conveyors you are going to check this slug builder there only you are able to use merge controller if you use for the conveyors which are not slug ready it will throw an error so i will show you that but still what we need to do is what i have done is i have connected the conveyors to the merge controller via a connection now i am connecting decision points to the slug controller via a connection so i need to select these four decision points and the fifth decision point because i need to send it on to the main conveyor so this way this will be looking like we have connected the model with the merge controller so i will now reset and run so when we reset and run we will see that the only slug really ready parts will be released no another part will get released till the time another parts are getting released so you can see only one type of color moving on this main conveyor not the mix of the colors so you can see now the blue are moving nobody else is going to get mixed into one another so see now blue moves no blacks blacks are not released yet once this is done then the blacks will be released now no another part will be released till the blacks are been released out you, if you click on this you can see this next release lane so third lane will be released second lane will be released this has been decided by the merge controller so now when the green is getting released black was supposed to be released now but the black is not yet released you can see the black is getting builded up builded up and builded up so this is how the merge controller works and this is how the model will be looking like at the end of the uh, modeling so what what we have learned today we have learned the conveyor properties related to the dog interval we have learned about slug buildings we have also learned about decision point uh, we have sent the items based on the item type to the respective conveyors we have used merge controllers and we have created a logic such that slug ready parts will be released 
and then next slug ready parts will be released you will have only one color pattern moving on to the main conveyor so this is all about merge controllers which we are going to use on the conveyors and slug builder and dog intervals do let me know if you have any questions and suggestions into the comment section thank you thank you for your love you have given to us till the date thank you for watching the video till end and we will meet into the new video with rack warehousing so we'll understand the warehousing properties and modeling details into our next video till then keep learning keep simulating and keep sharing and subscribing to the channel because we are having a target of 2000 subscribers till february 2023 take care bye bye meet in next video